The statement that I'm about to make will make some of you very angry, but it must be said. In my 45 years as a Christian and my 30 years as a minister, I have never come across uh, Christians, whether they be uh, Reformed, Protestant, or whatever, I've never come across any Christians who pray to the Trinity the way the Athanasian Creed stipulates. The Athanasian Creed stipulates that we are to worship the Trinity in unity. And I have not found anyone to do that. Yes, there's one song that many sing that, you know, talks about the Trinity, but it's a statement. It's not really worship. No, there are no Christians that I know of that really pray and worship a Trinity as three co-equal, co-eternal persons. No, this is a fallacy. You know, the Trinity is a theory because it is taught, but it is not practiced at any time. The Bible does not have not even one example of praying to the Trinity. Yet Christians proclaim the Trinity with such seal and such uh, anger against those who don't believe in the Trinity. So how do you pray to the Trinity? If the Bible doesn't show us any examples, then what is your source and how do you pray? How do you pray to the Trinity? Do you address each person individually? Do you pray first to the Father? And then do you pray secondly to the Son? And then do you pray thirdly to the Spirit? Is that how you address the Trinity? Is that how we do it? Do you address the Trinity as a He? Or do you address the Trinity as a Them? Do you pray to one God? Or you pray to the three persons? Which one is it? It is highly hypocritical for Christians to proclaim a trinity of three co-equal, co-eternal persons and not pray to them the way they are professing them. On the contrary, Christians pray to one God or they pray to the Father in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is the biblical pattern. It is correct. But it's highly hypocritical if you're proclaiming a trinity. And if you look at history, people were put to death because they didn't believe in this so-called trinity. How hypocritical is this for a religion to murder people when they don't even practice what they preach? You might say, well, what about Catholics? They, practice, they pray to the Trinity. Yes, and Catholics also pray to Mary. And yes, Catholics also pray to saints and to their guardian angels and to the, the saints that have departed the communion of the saints is praying to the dead. Yes, if you want to follow the Catholic Church, which they don't know what they're praying to, they pray to so many different things. I frankly don't understand why any intelligent person would follow the Catholic beliefs because they are not in line with Scripture and they don't even make sense. To pray to so many different entities is confusing and it really brings it down to people not praying at all. In passing, let me say that we don't use prayer beads to pray. Christians don't pray with prayer beads. That is a pagan practice. And Christians don't repeat prayers. They don't recite prayers. We don't look at the Our Father in the Gospels and pray that every day as a uh, reciting that as a prayer. You see, God is not a machine. God is not something where you you put input and then God gives you an output. No, you speak to God as a person. You speak to God on one to one. God loves us and He wants to know what we feel in our heart. Look at all the biblical examples. Nowhere will you find that people were reciting prayers. And also the example of Jesus Christ teaches us that we are to pray and, and have an intimacy with God. This is what real prayer is about. This nonsense of prayer beats, this nonsense of praying to Mary, this nonsense of praying to saints is ridiculous and needs to stop. The people who are doing this must be held accountable as ignorant of the scriptures 
and hypocrites when it comes to proclaiming a trinity that they don't even pray to. I want someone to look at this video and to get as angry as I am to know that Christianity practices something, it preaches something, but it does in, in, in daily living, it is, it's not being done. I'm angry about this because I want things to be corrected. I want the church to understand that if the Trinity is, is a theory and it doesn't work, we need to get rid of it and we need to do what the Bible says to pray to the Father in the name of Jesus Christ.